Hello, my name is Marcel Demmler. I'm sales director and working at Skier Systems. And today I'm going to speak about Einbeam figuring for telescope mirrors of different sizes. Skier Systems is a company based in the city of Chemnitz in Germany. We do advanced vacuum processing equipment used in the MEMS and optics industry with an annual revenue of about 50 million euro. And we are a group of 150 people. Today I will focus my talk on the Skia Trim 200 and Skia Finish 1500 system. Besides those systems, we have also other solutions for the optics industry, for example, einbeam milling systems um, to add slanted relief gratings for augmented or mixed reality. We offer also dual einbeam coating systems for multi-layer deposition or magnetron sputter systems for multi-layer deposition for X-rays or EUV optics. However, um, on the next slides, I would like to focus on einbeam figuring for telescopes. Just two examples what kind of telescope types exist. So on the left side, there is an X-ray telescope, LYNC, if everything goes well, it might be launched in 2036 and it's yeah, collecting X-rays, for example, from black holes. It will be space-based, of course, and those X-rays are collected with a, yeah, this kind of special mirror. On the right side, we have a very different um, telescope. This is a ground-based telescope the extremely large telescope, biggest one in the world. It will see first light in 2025. And the primary mirror has a size of nearly 40 meters. It's interesting, the mirror area for both kind of tele telescopes is several hundred square meters. However, the architecture of the mirrors is very different. The X-ray telescope consists of several of those um, cylindrical shells. In total, about 60,000 silicon mirrors, for example, for the link, will be used in order to make this complete mirror. And each silicon mirror has only a size of about 100 by 100 millimeter and it's also rather light, so clearly below one kilogram. On the other side, for the extremely large telescope, there are 798 mirror segments needed in order to assemble this primary mirror here. Each segment or each mirror has a size of 1.4 meter and a mass of more than 100 kilogram. What is the same for both mirrors? They need to be polished super precise. Einbeam figuring means that an iron beam is used in order to remove material from the mirror in a controlled way. So with the iron beam, we scan over the mirror and while scanning, the scanning velocity or dwell time is modified. Fast scanning means lower removal, low scanning or slow scanning means high removal on those positions. For small mirrors, the mirror will be moved in front of the iron beam source because this is like the, the lighter part and for the, for the big mirrors, the iron beam source will be moved because this process, the iron beam figuring Needs, uh, needs to be done in a vacuum chamber under high vacuum conditions. So it's not so easy to move like a very heavy, 100 kilogram heavy mirror around in a um, vacuum chamber. Before being able to apply this einbeam figuring process, our tool needs to know what, what to add or how much material to remove on the mirror. And this is shown here. So this polishing error 
or the surface form error has to be measured with an interferometer on each mirror before processing. Then depending of course on the mirror material, whether it's zero dual or silicon in the case of the X-ray optics, there is a different recipe with a different removal function. So just how, how fast the material is etching. And with those two information, our software calculates the dwell time. So how long, how many milliseconds to etch on each position on the mirror. Then this dwell time map is transferred into um, velocity data for the access system. And after processing, the surface error has been minimized as it is shown here. There is one interesting effect which needs to be considered. So the removal rate depends on the angle of incidence, which, which is shown here. So means for perpendicular angle of incidence, it's typically a bit lower. And if we change the angle of incidence, then the removal rate is higher. Since those mirrors have always a kind of curvature, this has to be considered. And there are two concepts how to address this. One would be to use a five axis system. So meaning if the surface is curved, we just move or tilt the ion beam source in order to follow the surface geometry. So it stays always perpendicular. Or we use a more simple three axis system and this kind of correction for the removal rate has to be done in the software. And this is the approach we have chosen because also mechanical errors are less for three axis system compared to five axis. And of course, this is also more cost effective. The Skia Finish 1500. So on this system, we are, or our customers, are doing the ion beam figuring for the mirrors for the ELT. On the front, we see one big mirror segment sitting on a, on a loading card. And this complete loading card will be moved for processing into this vacuum chamber, which is shown on the back with the loading door. So for each mirror, the process chamber has to be vented. Then the mirror is transferred into the chamber pump down and then processing starts based on the individual measurement data of each mirror. Besides the axis or movement system, the ion beam source is maybe the yeah, most important component in the system. We are using our RF120 I ion beam source. This ion beam source has been developed by Skier Systems. It's a yeah, ICP RF driven ion beam source. And what is unique, it can be moved around inside of the vacuum chamber. The beam size, which can be realized, is between yeah, 16 and 35 millimeter. And it offers also a feature called zero base edge. So we can additionally pulse the ion beam in order to locally control the removal. Since the mirrors we are processing are rather big. We need to have also reasonable high throughput, means high etching rate. So this is measured as a volume etch rate. And with, with the RF 120 ion beam source, we can achieve up to 2.3 cubic millimeter per minute removal, which leads at the end to processing time, like for the ELT example um, of five to 15 hours per mirror. The processing time I said is about five to 15 hours and the complete processing has been pre-calculated. So it is essential that the ion beam source is very stable over this time. Here we show how the beam width, the beam size and the edge rate for the RF80 ion beam source is changing over time for about 600 hours. And for the edge rate, we have a total drift of only 5% over 600 hours, which means over the processing of one mirror, there is basically no drift. It is very long-term stable. 
Next, I would like to show you a few slides um, for the smaller version of the system. So this is the Skia Trim 200, which is used for the ion beam figuring of the small X-ray mirrors. What is identical is, we, we have also a process chamber, a high vacuum process chamber here on, on the back with the ion beam source and the access system inside. What is different is the loading. So there is a bigger loading door here and we can place cassettes with multiple mirrors inside, for example, with 10 mirrors inside of the loading vacuum load lock. And the system will do processing of those mirrors automatically one after the other. How does the system know how to process each mirror? There is an ID reader on this loading robot and this ID reader can read the ID or the barcode which is on the mirror looking automatically for the right measurement data and then doing the processing. The ion beam source we are using is smaller compared to this Gear Finish 1500. The RF37i ion beam source has a grid opening of 37 millimeter and also the beam size is smaller, just yeah, 5 to 5, uh, 7 to 15 millimeter which means that also the spatial resolution we can get, the trimming accuracy, is a, is a bit higher. On the other hand, throughput is lower. So the volume edge rate we get is 0.2 cubic millimeter per minute, which is still sufficient high enough for those silicon mirrors because they are much smaller. So processing time is about one hour Per mirror. And together with this automatic handling, so on the right side the handling robot is shown, which is used to transfer the mirrors from the load lock into the process chamber. So together with the automatic handling, um, this is a very nice solution for mass production and for really high throughput. How accurate um, can we be with the ion beam figuring? Here we have an example of an X-ray mirror processed on a Skia Trim 200. On the left side, we see the interferometric measurement before ion beam figuring. The total thickness variation, yeah, peak valley is 468.9 nanometer before ion beam figuring and after ion beam figuring 121 nanometer. The RMS has been improved even more from 98.9 nanometer to 6.9 nanometer. So it's a factor of 14 improvement just with one ion beam figuring step. In summary, depending on the sample size and weight, different concepts for ion beam figuring are needed. So for the large and heavy samples, the ion beam source will be moved around, which requires, of course, due to the long processing time, also very high stability for the ion beam source, which we can offer um, with, with our ICP ion beam sources. If a larger number of smaller samples or mirrors has to be processed, we offer automatic handling solutions. And in this, those cases, the mirror will be moved in front of the ion beam source. And finally, we demonstrated that ion beam figuring is possible down to a single nanometer accuracy. If you have more questions or if you would like to contact us, please visit our website. Thank you.